for many of us, the traditional career path has been the norm for as long as we can remember. We're taught from a young age that to earn a reliable income, we must get a full-time job where we trade our time and effort for a regular paycheck. While this approach has worked well for previous generations, it's worth taking a step back to thoughtfully examine if this is the only way or the most optimal way for us today. As our world changes more rapidly, new opportunities are emerging that could allow for even greater income potential and flexibility. When you're trading time for money, your income will always be limited. The first reason? There are only 24 hours in a day to devote to the pursuit of money. Most of us need 8 hours to sleep, 2 hours to commute to and from work, and 2-4 to four hours total to cook, eat, tend to hygiene, relax, and spend time with friends and family. That leaves us with 10-12 to 12 hours to trade in for income. That's it. But the reality is that no matter how much your time is worth to your organization, $20, $30, $50 per hour, there will always be a cap imposed here. Time. Another consideration in the pursuit of money is that few of us can just ask for more simply because we want it. We have to wait years before obtaining the necessary job promotion, and there's a fair chance that we may not get that promotion at all. The second reason for limits on income is that the more we make, the more we'll lose. Employee tax is the most heavily taxed income there is, and the more income we earn, the more tax we face. This means that when someone goes from making $60,000 to $100,000 due to a promotion, they're not actually making $40,000 more. When we're continuously trading time for money throughout our lives, time is limited for pursuing the things we're passionate about. This could be a hobby we love, giving back to the community, or building something that could have a real impact on the world. Simply put, with limited time comes limited impact. Sounds like something Uncle Ben from Spider-Man would say. We all have interests, communities, and aspirations beyond just earning a paycheck. Maybe you're passionate about volunteering your skills to important nonprofit initiatives, or you've always dreamed of starting a local little league to inspire youth. These kinds of meaningful impacts require focused time and energy to take shape. Yet, the clock is ticking. Each hour sold at a day job cannot be reclaimed, severely limiting what you can accomplish outside of work. Over a lifetime, that could amount to several worthwhile ventures left unrealized and a positive ripple effect not made on others. But the question remains, how then do we stop trading time for money? One of the most essential steps is recognizing that the way we've been conditioned to think about careers and income generation isn't the only approach. We've been subconsciously programmed to associate earnings strictly with hourly wage labor through jobs and little else. Breaking free requires diligently unlearning those long-held assumptions rather than just learning new skills. It means scrutinizing the very premise that exchanging 40 hours of work directly translates to dollars earned. There is no economic rule that dictates this relationship. Once that intangible shackle is removed, a vastly more empowering mindset emerges, one focused on trading the value you provide through expertise and solutions instead of measurable time units. Seeing yourself as a value creator rather than a laborer opens up a world of unseen possibilities. Take stock of your unique blend of abilities, knowledge bases, and connections. What distinct problems are you best equipped to solve? What specific value can you deliver better than others? By recognizing your inherent strengths and double-clicking into your specialties, you begin opening doors to leveraging those skills in innovative and highly lucrative ways. With confidence in the value you offer, go all in on positioning yourself as the ultimate problem solver. Commit to delivering results through channels not confined by hourly restrictions. This mindset shift is truly liberating, severing all self-imposed constraints on income potential and untethering financial success from arbitrary time exchanges alone. Once we understand the strengths and value we can bring to others, we next need to build expertise around it. Developing expertise translates into larger value creation for ourselves and others because we can now solve problems that few others can solve. 
However, being recognized as an expert takes time and work, which is why building authority is just as important. Building authority around your expertise is what will help people discover your expertise in the first place. You could be the best in the world at something, but if no one has heard about you, then it doesn't matter. Authority has many factors to it, but the most effective are testimonials, press and media, influencer associations, and case studies. Give people the confidence to realize that you know what you're talking about. Developing expertise and authority will immediately increase the value of your time and allow opportunities to come to you. Not all of us can leap into entrepreneurship in the blink of an eye. This is why if you're freelancing or providing professional services for your time, multiply your time times 10, 10 times the value of your time. Instead of working with 10 clients that are going to pay you $2 per hour, find two that will pay you 20, then drop the rest. This is easier said than done, of course, but the logic here is to stay focused on the few that deliver the most results. That way, you'll be working fewer hours for the same, if not more, income, which gives you more time too. To stop trading time for money, create an offer that you can sell and deliver without having to be there. A powerful way to do this is to create an online product, an ebook, training program, membership program, software apps, etc. You can also sell physical products online, but you'll have to find someone who can manufacture and deliver the product to your customers. The reason why an online product can be powerful is that you can create it once and then focus the rest of your time on selling it. Yes, you'll have to improve and optimize the product, but those tasks will happen on your own time. This means you could go on vacation, spend time with friends, or sleep, and still have the ability to benefit as customers purchase your offerings. Figure out a way to automate and synthesize everything you can in your business. This could range from how you acquire customers, to how you deliver your products, to how you drive traffic, multiple aspects of your business, whether that means your content calendar, automated email series, webinars, social media posts, Facebook ads, etc. The more you can systemize, the more time you'll have to focus on the business, not on the business. Your time should be spent on long-term strategy, building relationships and growing the business, the drivers that will make your business thrive. Now, of course we can't automate and systemize everything in the business. So what do we do? At a certain point, attempting to do everything yourself becomes a limiting factor rather than a strength. Knowing when and where to delegate can significantly free up your time and energy. To determine which roles you need help with, you can create a list of tasks and prioritize them into three columns based on your time audit. 1. Hate doing list. These are tasks that you dislike and find boring, or that do not fit your skill set. Examples include social media posting, data entry, and bookkeeping. 2. Shouldn't do list. These are tasks that others could handle, which do not require your unique expertise. Examples include customer service, graphic design, and logistics coordination. 3. Can't do list. These are tasks that require a physical capacity or bandwidth that you do not possess. Examples include assembly line production, facilities maintenance, and multi-location management. By separating responsibilities into these three critical categories, you gain objectivity around where hiring help makes the most sense first. Focus on farming out tasks in the hate and shouldn't columns. These may provide the most relief from inefficient time sinks. Outsourcing key support positions allows your energy to stay directed to high-level strategy, innovation, and revenue-driving activities better suited to your distinct strengths. This amplifies your output and ultimately your company's ability to serve at higher levels. Get your employees to start with the tasks you hate doing. Getting past what you hate doing will not only help you appreciate the value of outsourcing tasks, it will maximize the strengths you already have and help you to avoid focusing on your weaknesses. You've built authority, you've built your product, and you've figured out a way to automate and hire someone to grow your business. What's next? Often, it's not enough to have one offering out there in the market. The biggest businesses expand into different products slash services, or they find a way to upsell their current customers. Is there a product idea that your customers have been nagging you about? A set of features that you can add to provide a premium pricing package. 
understand what your current customers are looking for, and figure out a way to deliver it using the systems and resources you already have in place. The final step is to reward yourself. What's the point of having more time if we're not able to enjoy it? Spend time with your loved ones, learn something new, or travel the world. We must be able to visualize and reward the results we have achieved in order to associate the notion of having more time with a positive result. Take the time to recharge, reconnect, and do more of what you love. Time is only worth having if you spend it. As First Lady Barbara Bush has said, at the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test, not winning one more verdict, or not closing one more deal. You will regret time not spent with a husband, a friend, a child, or a parent. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and consider watching our other videos right here.